Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So I had so much fun with my guest design team project for Witchcraft Do You Do last month that I decided I'd do another one for November. So I have a, a whole lot of their printables again to show you. I thought I'd do another introduction to my project for the month. I do like showing the printables before I start cutting them up. I always enjoy seeing what people start with and then what they make out of it. So let us have a look and see if you can guess what the theme's going to be this month. Yeah, pretty easy. <laughs> so this is the first kit. This is Christmas Papers Set 1, and this has 10 sheets in it. Now, I think I did print one of each, but what I decided to do with these is do them double-sided. Now, there is this beautiful design, and there are two lots of this design. One goes that way and one goes landscape style. So I printed this one out first and then I realized there was the landscape one and that's what I wanted. So I printed that out twice for myself. There is also this beautiful design. Now what I've done is printed these on my photo mat paper. Now, if you've used photo mat before, you'll know that you're just meant to print on the one side and the opposite side is a bit darker than that and you're not meant to print on that side for whatever reason. But I did want to double side this, so I did try and print on the other side and it turned out fine. So um, there are a couple of pieces in the kit that just have these plain backgrounds, which is awesome. So I thought that'd be great for the other side. Now the actual color might not be showing up um, as bright and vibrant as it would otherwise because I am printing it on the other side of the photo paper. So I thought I'd just explain that to you. Beautiful sort of greeny tea dyed color there. So there's yeah, that one. So I've printed out two of those with that green background. And then we've got this design. Now you get two pages of this. Now one has a more sort of brighter sort of gold design and then the duller sort of gold design there. So there's a slight difference to them. And there's that background. That one's more like a tea dye colour and then this one's a greeny colour, which I love and is going to be perfect. And then there's this design, which again is just beautiful with these leaves. And that one's sort of golder and brighter and this one's a bit duller, which is nice if you've sort of got a gold themed Christmas journal or a more vintage style. And I've put the green on the back of those ones. And then we've got these ones. And again, just a slight variation too in pages there. And I've got the green on the back of those ones. So that is the first kit that I'll be using. I love those pages. I think they're really nice for a vintage Christmas style journal. And then the next kit that I got is the Christmas Images and Ephemera set one. And this has 13 pages in it and just chock a block full of what it says, images and ephemera. So great for tags, journaling cards, tickets. And these again, I've printed out in the photo mat, just gives you a really nice bright picture. But of course you can print it out on whatever you like. Um, after I printed out in the photo mat, I thought maybe I should have printed it just on normal cardstock to dull on it a bit so it goes more with the vintage style, but we'll see. I might spritz it with some tea or play around with it a bit, but beautiful, beautiful pages. Just love the colours. And we've got the tags, so I think they're the same pictures. But we've got these in your square sort of journaling card style or plate style and then tags. Now the edge is cut off a bit there, but fortunately it got just right on the edge. So I just won't have to fussy cut that bit. So I'm fine with that. That is my printer settings. I did find finally <laughs> where I could click to shrink to fit to page. So and then um, it, it was all working fine after that. So I'm glad I found that. It's just annoying because every time you open things, it's always in a different program with different settings. So and you just got to hunt around. But yeah, lots of beautiful tags, beautiful tickets. These are nice large tickets. 
again with similar pictures. And then you've got all these smaller tickets. So like I said, there's enough here for me to use, you know, in more than a couple of journals. So they will last me a couple of years, no doubt. I love these beautiful greens. And some Santa's seals of approval. Then we've got these little word cards. These reindeer rescue incident reports and Santa's workshop toy makers authorizations. And these ones have been filled out with reasons and names and that. And then there's another copy which is empty. So you could just put them in your journals or whatever empty or you could fill them out yourself. So they'd be calling cards as well, I think these. Bit of fun. And then we've got these smaller cards, smaller tags, and then some more little words. I just love all the kits from which crafter you do because they give you so many options. Uh, so you can mix and match a lot. And then the last page is all of these leaves, which are beautiful holly leaves, I assume they are. Great little bits of ephemera to fussy cut out. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then to go with that, I thought I would try there. Well, it's not just to go with that. I thought the next three kits that I got will be great all-rounders, like they were worth me grabbing to use with this, but also for all sorts of other future projects. So I got the vintage, I think this one is the, hang on, let me grab them in order of what I've got them written down, so don't confuse myself. Vintage Pages and Ephemera, collection set one. This has 10 sheets. Now, I don't think I printed out every sheet, but I did print out most of them. So this is full of, like it says, pages and ephemera. That's vintage. Again, the first page, I hadn't found the setting that didn't cut things off, but then after that page, I did. <laughs> so, but what I've done with these is printed them on my tea dyed paper, and it's just plain copy paper too. Hence why the prints are duller um, and they've got the um, tea dyed background and everything. So of course that would affect the quality of what the prints look like but I did want that look just to make them look vintage and so I didn't have to worry about colouring the background afterwards. So that's what I've done there. So if you um, print these out yourselves, um, if you do them on your white copy paper they will show up more brightly. So, beautiful checks and ledger pages, adverts, I think they are. A lot of interesting pages. I thought they make beautiful backgrounds. And also for collaging, that sort of thing. Love these ones. Just receipts by the looks. And little interesting bits and pieces. It's nice different colours too, and as I said, with my tea dyed background, it makes the backs more vintage looking, so you can slip them into pockets and that as writing spots. So yeah, 10 pages, but as I said, I don't think I've printed out all 10 of them, but you get the gist of how beautiful they are. My printer had a few issues because it, my paper was so crinkly. Got a bit of ink on the edges, but that's all right. It's got a lot of chopping out to do of them. And then the next one I got was the Vintage Ad Set one. Now, this is a huge kit. It has 47 pages and they are gorgeous ads. Again, I have printed this out on my tea dyed papers. Now, with this one... With each page of the ads, they have been recreated. Most of the pages have been recreated like five times in different hues, which is so cool. So I'll grab a few of the different coloured ones. Again, because I've done it on the tea stain, you won't see as well. 
the differences. So grab these three. But if you can see here, we've got this sort of blue background. We've got this one that's sort of blue and brown. I think this one was just, there is one that's sort of just black and white. There's one that's just really grungy. So yeah, there's a whole lot of different backgrounds with the same advertisements on. So I didn't go printing them all. That's why there's so many pages. So I, I thought I won't do that. I'll just print out um, pretty well one of each page um, and just do a few of the different colors for myself just to mix things up a bit. So you'll get a good look at the type of ads that are in it, but it just gives you heaps of options um, just depending on what style um, and coloration you want for your journals. So you love these. So you could just cut out the individual little ads um, if they're a themed what you want for your specific project. You could just use them as whole pages. Very, very cool. Love this one with the pen nibs. I was looking at there's a few cocoa ads in it, which I thought would be great for Christmas journals and look, sewing machine ads. So that's why I think uh, this kit and the previous one are great for any sort of journal, any sort of vintage style journal. I love the grunginess of these pages. So yeah, check it out. And as I said, if you print these on um, your photo mat or your white card stock or paper, you know, you'd see the colours a bit brighter in that as well. And then at the end of the kit, there are a couple of pages with these mixed lots in them, which are really, really cool too. And I think they also did these papers, these adverts in a smaller size which I might print out a few of them as well. So, so many options with those. Love this kit. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And then the last kit I chose was their words collection one. And that has 10 pages. And again, this is just an awesome one to have for all sorts of journals. And I did print out every page because I think these will be great to just stick in a folder when I want a word, I can grab it. I've been meaning to do this sort of thing for myself and I haven't got around to it. And that's why stocking up on this kits is probably a good thing for me right at the moment. Um, I haven't been able to get around to doing a lot of this sort of stuff for myself. So just to have a head start is going to be great. So yeah, there's a whole lot of words here. Adventure, cherish, moments, inspiration, that sort of thing. And they've been redone in different styles. Well, I should say in different backgrounds. So great, that would be great for steampunk and that sort of thing. More grungy. So that is that kit. So that's going to be heaps of fun. So yes, obviously I'm making Christmas journals. <laughs> so well, I'm going to try and make some Christmas journals. We'll see how that turns out. And the last thing I do want to show is I have this seam binding. Now this was gifted to me by the lovely Valida from Valida's Creative Designs. Thank you so much, Valida. Now, Valida must have heard in one of my videos that I didn't have seam binding. I have been given some little bits and pieces in Happy Mails, but I didn't have much at all. So she actually must have gone on to Witchcraft Do You Do's website and into their shop and bought some stuff one day and noticed that they had seam binding and it's a massive big spool of seam binding. It's huge. And she remembered me saying I didn't have any and she bought some and sent it to me and I'm so very thankful and grateful to her for this. And she bought the um, plain one, which is awesome. So I can just cut lengths of this off and dye it whatever colour I want or ink it up or have it plain. 
So this will, I'll be using a whole heap of this in this journal as well. So yes, if you're needing any seam binding or sari silk, uh, go and check out which, which craft are you doing and see what they've got in their shop. Okay, so thank you to the lovely ladies over at Witchcraft Do You Do for taking me on for another project. I'm looking forward to it. So I shall be on a couple of times during the month to show you what I'm doing with the papers. I'll probably do a few embellishments and that with you. And then, of course, I'll show the final flip throughs at the end of the month. All going well. <laughs> so take care of yourselves. Happy crafting. And I will see you again soon. And check out the links below. The shop will be linked as will all these specific kits that I have just shown you. Bye.